What's up YouTube land? Welcome to another video. We have a first impressions video, by the way. We're looking at this Fizz Kaylee chef's knife. Look at that baby. Real nice. Comes in a nice box right here. You got a cleaning cloth, okay? You got some care instructions right there that it comes with. Now let's go ahead and get this box out the way and show you what we're working with. Now, the kind of people over there wanted me, you know, try this knife out, see how I like it. Now, what to expect with a knife right out of the box? You expect it to be sharp. And that is exactly what it is. It's very sharp. That's what most knives are when they come out the box. Now I've used this maybe a little less than a dozen times, maybe about nine or 10 times so far throughout my cooking. I do regular cooking throughout the week. I cook for my family. Not only do, um, on top of that, I barbecue on the weekends when I can, especially with this heat right now in Texas, it's hard to get out there. So a lot of my cooking is inside, cutting up vegetables, prep work. Now, I will say I do like the, the balance on this. I won't try to balance it and cut myself, you know, on this video but it's very light in the hands. Now, a lot of people expect they knives, they want a little weight. Now, I do too. Now, you can see some of the knives I got on the back that's hanging over my stoves. I got some Dexter knives over there, you know, which stay sharp. I have not had a problem with those. But as far as price point of this knife, if you go on Amazon, it is $37.99. That is cheap for a German imported stainless steel knife. Now, they do, make this in their factory out of china i know how some of you guys feel about that you know but let's be honest a lot of stuff we have in our homes and a lot of things we own manufactured in another country other than the u.s and that's not necessarily saying that's always the bad thing okay especially your phones everybody has an iphone or an android phone hey they don't make them here but you buy one okay so I want you to look at this is they're targeting the USA now I did ask them you know kind of explain that because it's, it does the box is made in China but it says USA so I was a little confused on that at first but they just said that's their target you know demographic so I've cut some vegetables with this thing I've cut meats um, eggplant bell peppers things like that um, cucumbers things of that sort tomatoes I've cut fajita meat for you know a stir fry dish i made the other night i've made half chickens or for the smoker and i've cut those in half and i'm not too you know keen on using a knife like this to chop through bone if i wanted to I'd get my cleaver out and do that something with some weight but it did cut through some of that cartilage especially like the wings you know right there between the joints or the legs right there between the joints as well to cut through that cartilage and it had no problem especially like slicing steak and things like that so everything i expected so i'm not disappointed in this knife whatsoever i'll leave some leaks uh correct myself i'll leave some links in the bottom of this video in the description if you check it look down there they'll all be down there so you can go to their website if you want to um this is the classic series of this knife they do have other knives on the um website different styles many different styles i looked at and you can choose to purchase one and just try it out see how you like it so so far i'll be putting this through the paces a little more and just curious to see how this knife holds up over time compared to the rest of the knives i have so if you're looking for one fist kaylee chef's knife eight inch blade 13 inches very light in the hand give it a try and that's it with my review video first impressions whatever you want to call it stay tuned for more toothpicks